hello everyone welcome to my channel in this video we are going to talk about how we can play video in augmented reality using Vuforia let's create a new product and start with it let's wait for it lo to load First of all, let's delete our main camera that we already have and go to the Foria menu and add the AR camera. And it will ask you that it want to import some files that required for it. We will click import and what it will do, it will import the whole Vaforia package assets that are required to be to create an AR application using Vaforia into our project automatically. Just wait for it and give it a few seconds and as you can see it has imported all the files required for it to work now let's go to build settings and go to the player settings here you will see an XR setting and here you will check for the augmented reality. You will notice that it has created a resources folder inside our assets and there we have a Vaforia configuration where we give our license key. Now we need a license key to make our AR application work. You can get an, a license key free from Vaforia's website easily. But before that, we see that we have an error. To do remove that error, we go to the player setting and in Android, we check Vaforia as well. And in our other settings, we uncheck the Android TV compatibility and it will remove our warning. Now let's go to Vaforia's website, developer.vaforia.com. Let's log in to my account. I will log in from some other account. This one. And let's click login. Here you will see I have a lot of licenses already. Let's click one of any of them. And let's just copy and paste this license key from here to our unity before your configuration like that it will now let us run the AR application the next thing is database that we require and we can use our own database or we can just use before yes Mars database load will actually load it and activate will activate all the AR features on that database now let's go uh, go back and add uh, an image image target in our scene as you can see we have already got the database the default database from Vaforia and image target astronaut Now let's add a 3D object quad to render our video and it's it needs to be rotated and let's rotate it. We need to rotate it like this and give it the x value 90 and now let's just move it a little bit up on the image target so we see the quad first now let's add video play component and we need a video clip let's import that and you can use any video over here and yeah it's imported now in your quad video play component you give the 
video clip here the select the video clip we have already imported and next thing we need to do is we need an audio source to play audio let's add an audio source and give its reference to the video play component next thing what we will do is go to our image target and open the default trackable event handler script in visual studio what we are going to do with it is that we will need to code that whenever our image target is being tracked our video gets played so to do to do that first of all we will need a reference to our video player that we that we can do by having a public unity engine dot video dot video player video player variable now inside our private methods we are going to write the video player dot play function call and on track lost we can write video player dot stop if if we want to play the video from the same point that where the image track image tracking has been lost we can do that by using dot pause and if we want to play the video again from the start we need to do video player dot stop let it load and it will appear the slot over here like that now let's just give the reference uh, give the reference of video player by selecting the quad next what we need to do is uncheck this play on awake from our video player as well as on from audio source so it does not play the video or audio by default when it runs because we all uh, we are already doing that from our code let's save the scene file and let's go to our build settings and here let's add and let's switch the platform to Android since I am going to test the app on Android and now it's it has it is going to change all the assets required for Android let's wait for it to complete now let's build an apk and run on my phone let's call it main.apk and wait for it to finish and yeah i have installed my app on my phone and let's see how it looks like and yeah it plays the video like that above the image target you will notice if we move the camera away from our image target it will stop like that and if we crash the game it starts the video from the start again we can change that by doing play or pause i hope you liked my video and if you have benefited from it make sure you like it and leave a comment if you want me to cover something for you guys make sure you subscribe my channel to get latest of my content take care